Right, welcome back to another exciting day at the coal face. Those two cables, I've got to go into the side of there and then down onto those coppers below. But what we've got is this. So I've got those three cables there, four core 25s and stuff. I've got to bend round them into there. So I have to change the orientation as they come round. And the one, this one here, is gonna go on the bottom. That one's gonna go on the top. So that I can bring them right to the front and in. And this way, <coughs> excuse me. This way, it still leaves plenty of the glam plate free for other people to use. But when I'm bending the cable, it was pulling against the smaller cables here. So if you can just see there, I've put a ratchet strap on it, and I'm hoping that that will allow me to form a bend into there. And basically, I'm gonna put a hole there and a hole there, and then the two into the side, bend them down onto those. Which is another good point, look at this, look at this for panel design. There's your level. There. So I can't get, I couldn't get like a ratchet gun onto it. To, you know what I mean? Who designs stuff like this? Seriously, lads. Come on. Right. It's not often you do side entry stuff. But obviously, you need to mark where the cables are going and you can't hold two things at the same time. So, there's a centre. Now what I want to do is mark underneath. Then I want to put the next one on. I know that I can't go there, obviously. I'm gonna go there. That gives me enough space. I'm clear of the lip, the overlap, and I've got enough room to get a bolt through. So, well, that one. And the reason I've left the banjo hole at the front for the earth for the earth bolt is because if I put it at the back, I wouldn't be able to get in because the cables would be in front here, and I wouldn't be able to get into drill the hole and then put the bolts on so I'd be making life awkward just thinking ahead save your time in the future right so what I'm doing now is using this as like a measure as a template so that goes on I've got it onto the top of the cable as it comes around the corner where the ratchet strap was and it comes in a straight line it avoids the smaller cables and then it goes onto the gland at the top. So that's where the, the wires, the armoring, is going to be set. When I strip it all back, they'll be touching that little bit there where the red's touching. So now if I transfer this over here, run it along the top of the cable, make my mark on there. Oh, and you can see that, just there. Oh, it's just beyond, just, just too far. I'll show you that in a minute. Ah! 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 I closed the lid, and we've got me tashed up in the fucking lid. <laughs> Health and safety, although I'm not wearing any, any any gear, any PPE. But I don't suppose that would have stopped it. So that's where the red cable went to. That's where the armour cut's going to be on that line. 
there's the seat you can see it there look it was resting on top there and i formed the bend across round there and then across onto the gland so that was the that was me imagining how the cable would run now it's time to make that cut then i'm going to get a measure cut the cable so i'm not having to put all of that through onto the coppers down there so that's the next task which you've seen a million times so Like Jack and the Beanstalk. There's been a bit of a development on the um, exhaust cutter giveaway. Initially, I bought two of the Sealy exhaust cutters to um, to give them away. I used one for myself because my old one, which I thought was Sealy by the way, was getting a bit blunt. So I thought I'll buy two of them, give one away, I'll, I can use one for a little bit, see if it's any good, and then I'll give the other one away. Well, I certainly won't be giving that away. I'll be taking it back to get my money back. That is absolute shite. I've only had it two weeks. It's falling apart, it's felt a bit. I was just ringing, ringing that cable there, and it just felt a bit. So I'll be taking that back, getting my money back. I'll be sending the other one back. And then I'm gonna to have to find out where I bought that one. I got it from Euro Car Parts. Hopefully they'll still do it because that one is absolutely unbelievable. And I've had that one nearly nine years. So that's how good that is. I've had that one two weeks. Shocking. Right, we're coming up against a problem. That problem is, as the cable's coming round, I can't see this bit here, see how it bends, right? I need that to be straight, but I can't bend all four cores straight. So then it always leaves that coming in at that angle like that. So how do you, how do you get round that? Well, what you do, just here, I've rung round the cable, stripped it, and now what I'm going to do is un take all the PVC off, and I want to bend each core individually into place, and then what that will do, it will stop the cable coming in at that angle, because I'll be able to lift it straight, like lift it straight up there, and then that will straighten it out, so we'll just see how that goes. There we go. Land tighten right up just because I took them out 90 degrees bend and it you've got the gap there you can lift lift the whole thing up and it just lets the cable come in straight so there's that one they need straightening up it's not touching them which is good so the next one to come in now and then I can start terminating them lovely job so there's two cables in and now well, the earth i've got the earth in as well so the earth's terminated it's only loose for now until i get it shaped so i've got to get these onto there now so i'll have another look back when i've got four on and then see what we're going to do with the, other, the front four just a quick one there's the mark as you can see, that cable, where I've had to bend it to get the measure, is not straight. So if I cut that, it'll be slightly bent at the end. So it's always a, a good, good idea to straighten it out so you don't have to bend it when there's only 
when you see when you've cut all this off it's more difficult to bend that small piece there than it is when you've got a big lever on there so let's see if I can show show you how what I mean by that so at the moment that's coming down there's the mark and you see it I don't even see it there but slightly bent oh, I that. so all I'm going to do and there uh, and just straighten it and now when that goes on because the cable straight when it goes into the lug it will go into the lug straight and sit correctly there we go another one done we've got them dropped in I had to change the orientation they came they come in like that but because i didn't have enough room in there i had to, as they come in i had to sort them like that so they came in and then just bent them over and straight down and that's it there's the job i've just got the covers to put on now and that's me done for the day half past four finished i've early finished might have a wander over the gym and then come to the gym and have a wander over to the pub. Hmm, <laughs> lovely. <laughs>